Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at a Mecha Musume kit that's quite interesting. This is the Guard of Spider Fighty. As you can see, it's a little girl character in there, but she's got this awesome like tank mecha spider outfit going on. It's quite cool. Really fun, unique little kit. Let's go ahead and check it out here for today's review. Alright guys, so let's get into it, taking a look at the box, and then we'll get into its contents. But as you can see, it's in a larger style box here, which is awesome for showing off this really great design work going on in the front here. You got all the logos and everything, and a really nice big illustration of the character right there on the front. Really cool illustration work there of the character and all of her weapons and armaments and everything going on there. If we go around here onto the side of the box, you can see basically the same stuff there, all the logos and everything, uh, Wave, and this one, I'm not sure what that logo is, but I know this is a cooperation project here between Wave and Orange Cat Industries, so I'm not sure if that's like an alternate uh, Orange Cat Industries logo there or something. But over here is a bit about the game, I guess, that's Artery Gear. It's a RPG style game, I guess. I have no experience with it, so I can't really speak on that, but there's an image from that. On the other side, we can see a look at the painted model kit itself, and then you can see the front, rear, a couple of just detail images of what you can do here with the kit. There's a look at her outside of the armor and accessories there. I guess she has like a popsicle as well. Very cool, face option parts, decals, all that good stuff. Here's a look at how the kit is going to look completely unpainted, just straight out of the box. Looks pretty good, gotta say. So yeah, with all of that extra stuff going on there, you can see why they opted for the larger style box. There's gonna be a lot of stuff in here for all the equipment and everything. Right off the bat, we do have what looks to be like an amendment page, so maybe there was a mistake in the manual, so this is added in just to, as a correction. So make sure you pay attention to this while building the kit. Here's our pre-printed parts right on top, so let's just take a look at these. There's your face options, one, two, three. Those all look really nice, just the printing quality on them. And then this part here for like the visor on the top of the head is also pre-printed there with that really nice metallic red for those little bits in there and then just the gray, tan, and green colors looks really good. And we've also got blank face options in case you wanted to repaint those, use the decals or whatever. But what I'm looking for here is the instruction manual. Here we go. So we got the same artwork there on the front. On the back side, same images, basically what we saw on the outside of the box, but here's also your color guide over here. It's all in Japanese. Here's our parts list, which is a, just a separate page here. Also, you can just kind of toss that to the side. Oh, because there's another parts list here at the front of the manual. Anyway, there's the artwork once again, and it looks like we're building the character herself first and then like the weapons and equipment and what it doesn't look like we have is any more images of the kit so this here on the back of the manual is all that you're going to have as far as photo references for that the rest is just going to be all of the construction and everything so for now let's go ahead and check out the runners then so looks like we've got two sets of water side decals here is the first one which is some small just multiple different kinds of expressions here i'm wondering if this is like a first run exclusive thing that's why those extra faces are thrown in because here is the main sheet of water side decals which would just be kind of just a few eyes and then just some of the larger markings around there for the main kit but here is runner a in light blue which is going to be all of our hair parts no runner b but so we're on to runner c and this is in a light cream color gonna be some parts for the body some hand parts and other stuff on there runner d in the that same off-white cream color here. We've got two of these for some more parts. There's E and F are gonna be all of our green parts for the kit. So there's runner E, runner F, we've got two of these. So that's gonna be parts for the spider legs and other bits on there. Runners G and H are in this tan color. Runner H, we've got two of those, very nice. Runner I and J are gonna be in this orangish yellow color. Once again, we've got one of runner I, two of runner J. Runner K here, only one of these, but this is gonna be in gray for a bunch of the mechanical parts. And that's basically gonna continue here onto runner L as well. We've got two of this L runner and four of the M runner. So I'm guessing this is all like all parts for the mechanical parts for one leg times four. So I've got all of those, there's a lot of those. And lastly, runner N is a few parts here in red, and runner O is a couple of parts there, our stand in clear. All right guys, so here's the kit all built up. Very cool, I love how unique this kit is. It's something different, you know, from other kits that I've built. It's even different feeling from a lot of Mecha Musume kits. The end result does remind me a lot of the Desktop Army series, and it just makes me really wish that they made more Desktop Army model kits. Now, there's a couple of Kodobuki model kits of Silphie, but I wish that there was some more Desktop Army uh, type model kits, stuff like this, so we'll see if we get some more in this line. But for now, I just want to take a closer look at some of this stuff. Some really nice color separation, like the red bits there in the camera. The nice yellow accents you have here and there are really nice. You will have a few seam lines around on the kit here and there. 
but otherwise like the part separation all the little bits of color and everything everywhere does look really good so it's gonna look really nice once everything's all painted up as for the articulation of the spider legs they'll move forward and back here and then you have a couple of joints that will give you some movement here. Although I wish that there was a little bit more movement in this joint right here, which you kind of can't really see because it's kind of hidden up inside there. But as you can see here, it only really kind of moves just a little bit like that. I wish there was some more movement in that joint. And then you do also have some rotation here as well. So they're pretty nicely articulated. These front shield parts are on some thin mechanical arms that go from like the skirt armor section here. So you can move those out farther or kind of Close that in to be a little bit closer to the body and it's also on the connection is on a track that will allow these to slide up and down as well the bazookas are, as you can see are kind of here attached onto the backpacks so those can move around without being held in the hand otherwise you do have holding hand option parts to be able to hold on to those or what you can also do is just remove them from the backpack entirely to just be held in the character's hand and the handle does move a little bit forward and back there like that so yeah aside from those open hands that you see on the kit there now our option parts are going to include the holding hands for holding the bazookas we also have a holding hand here dedicated for holding the kind of uh, popsicle hand that's kind of cool there's a couple of pieces here for the back side of the character when you don't have the spider equipment attached on there you can attach these onto the back and you'll see that here in a little bit we've got the option part here for the bangs which will include the mask you do also have an unpainted version of the mask as we saw this was like a pre-painted part you have the unpainted version if you wanted to paint that in different colors or something you have that in here as well we've got our other face options of course again you'll see these on the kit in just a second We've got these little optional pieces which will go in here for the skirt section. If you want to have this kind of armored skirt part attached on here but you don't want the spider legs on there, you can replace the connection parts there for connecting on the spider legs. Just replace them with these just a flat cylindrical pieces there. And then we've also got a set of four of these slightly different connection pieces for the legs and these are for making so the legs instead of pointing out to the side will point to the front and to the back. So here that is and I guess this is what we could call maybe like a high speed form something like that. That where you swap out those leg connection pieces for these pieces that now allow you to connect the legs here forward and back then you also fold down the wheels that are contained up in the spider legs as well fold those down those lock into place and then you've got your kind of high speed form here that you can see where it's gliding along on the wheels and you can imagine it's pretty cool in action just taking a look at a few other different poses here with this it doesn't necessarily have like a ton of different accessories or things like that but basically what you can do with this is you can swap between just like the full spider form or like the unarmored form so you have a couple different options of how you're ultimately going to want to display the kit, but I think most people probably if you're buying this, you're going to want to display it in its full uh, armor spider form. And I think as a kit in that form, it definitely is quite impressive. It's a really cool design, just like the, how beefed up and armored the spider legs are looking compared to something like we've seen uh, from the ATK girl line, I believe it was, that had the spider girl kit as well. It's quite a different feel with this one, definitely feels a bit more like a tank, like a spider tank rather than just like kind of uh, spider appendages. So that more heavily armed, heavily armored design of this one is more appealing to me. I like it a lot. What do you guys think about the design overall? I think the kit was a lot of fun. I'm definitely looking forward to some more in this line. Hopefully you know, they'll be coming out with some more kits so similar like this. Like I said, I do like a very desktop army kind of feel for the design of this and it would be nice if we get some more similar ones uh, out in the future. But overall, pretty fun, pretty cool little kit. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think about it? And of course, if you guys are interested in picking up this kit or anything else, you know, model kit, Mechamasume wise, of course, you can check all that stuff out at USA Gundam Store. The link to USA Gundam Store will be down in the video description below, as always. So you can check that out, check everything out there on the website. Also, if you guys would like to like and or subscribe, that would also be greatly appreciated. But until next time, hope you guys are having a great day. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.